We are only two weeks into 2024, and SpaceX is already breaking records, setting a pace that makes us wonder what other achievements await us in the later part of the year. Yesterday, SpaceX accomplished a feat no other company has ever dared. And in this video, we will dive into this incredible achievement. But before we go any further, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. SpaceX, as we all know, had an extraordinary year in 2023. The company conducted a total of 98 launches, which included 91 Falcon 9s, 5 Falcon Heavies, and 2 Starships. The previous record was held by the Soyuz rocket, which conducted 47 launches, 45 of which were successful. SpaceX didn't just break the record, they significantly surpassed it, marking yet another milestone in their growing list of achievements. SpaceX also made remarkable progress in reusable rocket technology. They celebrated the successful landing of their 250th orbital rocket booster and demonstrated the sustainability of their launch system by launching and landing a single rocket up to 19 times. Yes, you heard that right. A single rocket booster went to space and returned 19 times, a feat that SpaceX achieved after years of dedicated effort. After a record-breaking year in 2023, SpaceX didn't slow down in 2024. In just the second week of the year, they achieved another remarkable feat by launching two Starlink missions on the same day. What's more impressive is that SpaceX successfully recovered the boosters from both of these rockets. The first mission involved a Falcon 9 rocket carrying 22 Starlink satellites, which lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Remarkably, this was the 18th flight for the first stage booster of the Falcon 9. Following the stage separation, the booster made a precise landing on the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship. Later that day, a second Falcon 9 rocket was launched from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. This mission carried an additional 23 Starlink satellites into orbit, marking it as the 300th successful launch for SpaceX. The first stage of this Falcon 9 on its 12th flight successfully landed on the a shortfall of Gravitas drone ship. The recent launches have also provided some noteworthy milestones for SpaceX's Falcon 9 boosters. The booster used in one of the launches, B-1067, was making its 16th flight, joining the ranks of a few others with a long flight history. SpaceX has set a goal of launching 144 Falcon missions in 2024, with the recent two launches being part of that ambitious target. The company has already successfully completed three missions in the early days of 2024. While specific numbers for each rocket type in the 144 planned missions are not explicitly detailed in the sources, the Falcon 9 will undoubtedly make the majority of these launches. The Falcon 9 is highly versatile and has been the backbone of SpaceX's launch capabilities, mainly due to its reusability and reliability. The Falcon Heavy, being a more powerful version of the Falcon 9, is likely to be used for missions requiring larger payloads or those destined for more distant locations, such as deep space missions. One of the most exciting prospects for SpaceX in 2024 will undoubtedly involve the Starship rocket. These missions are expected to be a mix of test flights, lunar missions, and interplanetary mission preparations. Continuing from previous years, SpaceX is likely to conduct additional test launches of the Starship. These tests are essential in validating the spacecraft's design and performance, especially for long-duration missions. All the ambitious plans for SpaceX's Starship, of course, hinge on the development of a fully functional Starship rocket. Even though SpaceX's Starship has launched twice, it's still in the testing phase. Many more test flights might be needed to fully perfect it. That's why SpaceX is now getting ready for its third flight. Musk is targeting February 2024 for the third integrated test flight of its Starship vehicle. The readiness of the hardware for this test flight was aimed for January, with the final schedule depending on securing an updated Federal Aviation Administration launch license, expected in February. However, the outcomes of SpaceX's first two Starship test flights could have significant implications for the Federal Aviation Administration's decision regarding the launch license for the third flight. 
In the second test flight, SpaceX successfully deployed a hot-stage separation system, which was a significant achievement. However, this flight ended with the booster exploding and the upper stage also being lost. This incident led to a mishap investigation by the FAA, a standard procedure when a launch does not go as planned. The first flight also encountered substantial issues. The FAA may require extensive reviews and possible new conditions to be met before granting the launch license for the third flight. SpaceX will need to demonstrate to the FAA that the causes of the previous failures have been understood and addressed. However, the timeline for the FAA's approval could extend beyond initial expectations. Previous FAA investigation also took several months to conclude, suggesting a comprehensive and meticulous review process. For the third launch test, the Booster 10 and Ship 28 have completed test campaigns and have undergone extensive preparations. Booster 10 experienced an issue during a static fire test in December 2023, which required the use of an emergency dump procedure. However, it later successfully completed a 33-engine static fire test. One of the key aspects of this upcoming test flight is the demonstration of in-space propellant transfer capabilities. This technology is essential for the version of Starship that will be used for lunar lander missions, starting with the Artemis III mission, now slated for September 2026. The plan involves creating a propellant depot in low Earth orbit, which would be refilled by a series of Starship tanker launches. This depot would then fuel the lunar lander Starship for its journey to the Moon. The number of tanker launches required for a lunar mission has been a topic of discussion. While earlier estimates varied, SpaceX is now working towards a target of approximately 10 tanker launches, though this number could change based on the outcomes of initial flight tests. The Artemis III mission is an integral part of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon and establish a sustainable presence there. This mission is particularly noteworthy, as it marks the first time since the Apollo era that astronauts will land on the lunar surface. The company has already demonstrated many of the required capabilities through its operational programs, such as docking with the International Space Station and rapid launch capabilities through its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy vehicles. The primary challenge now is to successfully demonstrate the in-space transfer of cryogenic propellants, a key technology that has not yet been tested in orbit. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.